how do I set my welder? What kind of amps do I put on it? What kind of volts do I put on it? How do I, you know, I'm going to weld on blah, and, and I need to know what the settings need to be. Well, there's a rule of thumb out there that works really, really well from the really, really thin metals up to about a half inch, you know, maybe three quarters of an inch. Then that rule kind of, kind of fades away. It doesn't work quite right. And that rule is, for working with steel, one amp per one thousandths of thickness. This is just a guideline. You know, th this is just a basic ballpark. You're going to adjust it depending on you know, what position you're in, what machine you're using. You know, yours may run a little hotter than mine does, so you're going to want to turn, you know, adjust things just a little bit different. But that's a good way to get started. Oh, and keep in mind, this only works with TIG and stick. It won't work with MIG welding. So a lot of guys use, you know, eighth inch plate steel. That's what this is. Eighth inch steel is 0.125 on the uh, caliper. So you need about 125 amps to start. So a big old chunk, a quarter inch plate. I'll use this for like a base on a sculpture so I can bolt it down. Well, quarter inch, that's 0.250 thousandths. So that translates to 250 amps starting area, starting range. You know, that's about what you're going to dial in, get started, see how that works for you. You probably go down, you might have to go up. All depends on your machine. Big old chunk of half inch plate, you know, half inch, that's 0 0.500. Do you really need 500 amps to weld it? In a single pass, you might, depending on your machine again. You know, like I say, this is just a guideline. It's just a ballpark. Just something to get you in the right neighborhood where you can adjust it to what you need. And how do you know how thick it is? Well, tape measures, they'll help you a whole lot. You know, this one happens to have all the fractions on the bottom of the tape. So it'll just point out, you know, this is sixteenth of an inch, this is eighth inch, this is quarter inch. You know, it'll tell you for sure right there. If you want to be absolutely undoubtedly sure and cut out a step, like having to convert a fraction to decimals, well, just get yourself a caliper because it will read in decimals. So it'll tell you exactly what it is and then you can just do the math from there. Just make sure, like this one, make sure it's not in millimeters. That screws up the measurements altogether. And I know I use a lot of aluminum in my work and that one amp per thousandths for steel is not quite right with aluminum, I've found. I like to take and bump it up from, you know, this is eighth inch aluminum plate, so 125 thousandths, so 125 amps. It's not quite enough. I'll take it from that. I'll go up to about 135, 140, maybe even 145, depending on what position I'm in. And that seems to work better. So just keep that in mind. They're just guidelines. They just get you in the ballpark. Aluminum, add a little more horsepower to it. Add a few more amps to it, you know, just to get you in the ballpark where you can figure out what you're doing. Three point zero two or three point two one inches? What? Oh, <laughs> millimeters. <laughs>